Boys and girls, thank you so much for tuning in to the Big Honker Podcast. This is our weekly pick em, kind of a bonus episode, a little behind the scenes cut type stuff. So thank you for tuning in. You need to go check out our sponsors. Go check out Boss Shot Shells. You'll never go back to shooting anything else. Pacific Calls, Dive Bomb Industries, Dirty Duck Coffee, Shin Gear, MLR Graphics, Looking Glass Podcast, Lucky Duck, Ducks Unlimited, Double T British Kennels, Mossberg, Hemp Hill Farms, Alpha Outdoor Specialties, and Stanfield Outfitters. All right, ladies and gentlemen, it is week 18 in the NFL. Our guest picker is our beloved Steve Barber. Uh, tough week of pickums because we don't know who in the hell's playing. So uh, we do the best we can, make heads or tails out of everything. So enjoy. Welcome to the Big Honker Podcast, brought to you by Boss Shot Shells. I'm Jeff Stanfield with the world famous Andy Shaver. I think the line we got's all messed up. You think the lines are messed up? I think so. Our special guest today is very special for sure for us from Jacksonville, Texas. Doctor Wang's favorite patient, Mister Steve Barber. How are you doing, Steve? I'm doing great. Tired. I'm not, I'm not going to ask you to tell that story about Doctor Wang. Well, I'm not going to tell it, so don't even ask me. <laughs> It's a highlight yeah, maybe, of your trip. Maybe that was right. Well, we'll see. Anyways, the, the lines are different today because there's a lot of players aren't playing and resting players this week. Or oh. they're resting people. All right, Steve, as a Dallas Cowboy homer that you are, do you think Detroit got the short end of the stick the other night in that deal? Well. Honest, it, honest answer. No debate, and I'm just asking your opinion on this. I probably did because it took them 30 seconds to call the penalty. <laughs> That gets me in every game. If something happened, throw the fucking penalty flag. I'd rather you pick the flag up than to have to think and then throw a flag. They do that on a pass interference all the time. So you think that Detroit got screwed on that probably? Well, being a Dallas Cowboy fan, I'm glad uh, it went our way. Right, and you're honest about that, and I respect that. But, you know, it looked like from the replay, it looked like both guys ran up to the referee or whichever uh, official it was and – one of them said something, and the other guy walked away. I don't know if he was saying Why that. would the NFL suspend the guys from working the playoffs if they didn't do something wrong? You got a point. And that's – my deal, won't they just fire their ass? That's what I'd do. I, you know, I, I read a deal. They said it's going to cost the city of Detroit 50 to $100 million in revenue lost by not having a home game. That's hmm. how much revenue is lost on home games. And if – now, Detroit may get beaten the first round of the playoffs, it wouldn't have mattered anyways. But they would have got to play all their games at home. Well, that's that's unfortunate because everybody play tries to play for the home home field advantage or number one seed, and I don't. If Dallas wins this weekend, they back into the East because yeah. Philadelphia choked. Well, I, they have. I don't have a clue who <clears throat> Dallas would play. Dallas will play Green Bay in Dallas in oh, Dallas in the first game if Green Bay wins. Right, and then they they would go on the road. Dallas. No, Dallas doesn't have to go on the road now. They'll be the two seed. They'll be the two seed. Really? But the if only they, time they'd go on the road is to play San Francisco. But yeah. but if they if they would Detroit would have won that game, Dallas would have had to go to Detroit the next game. Okay. So Dallas got got a by that fucked up play. Regardless of what happened, if it truly was the guy did report, then Detroit got screwed out of home field advantage for at least two playoff games. Okay. Well, if they win, it's a big thing. It's a big it, deal. Sure, it's a big deal. It's all about money. But then <laughs> September wins and losses add up too. Yeah, look at the college scene right now. It's all against, it's all about money. That's t- that college football is so screwed up. Once yeah. you get to the bowl season, before bowl season, this this transfer portal. I don't know if they can ever go back on it. I did not realize the Supreme Court is the one that made a ruling on this that changed this. Yeah. Did you well, know that? No, the NIL. Yeah, the Supreme Court made a rule and said no, you cannot use players' likenesses and not pay them. And that's when all the NIL stuff started. Well, what's, what's, pay the man. Yep. 
what's sad is all these bowl games have been around for such a long time. Yeah. They're going to lose their likeness or whatever because people are not going to watch it. No, the no, Orange Bowl, terrible. one of the biggest, the granddaddies of bowls. I mean, the Rose Bowl, the Orange Bowl, the Cotton Bowl, and the Sugar, Sugar bowl, bowl were the four bowls. That's right. And now there's not – the Orange Bowl looks like a joke after this. Well, look, uh, who, did, who did Georgia play? Florida State? Yes. yes. Florida State had 29 players that opted out. That's wrong. If that, you go to school for two or three years or four years, you owe that university. Or one year. Or one year, like Nick's did at Oregon. At Oregon? He stood up and played ball. He played the, he played the bowl game. You yeah. know, Alabama last year played in a meaningless bowl <clears> game. <throat> I think they played in the Orange Bowl or something. They played in the f- number five versus number six game. Yep. Not one player opted out and played the game. Yep. Alabama had nine guys enter the transfer portal today. Yep. Those nine guys, though, played in their bowl games. That's right. They, they committed. All these NIL deals should be based on playing the game. Okay. If, if I own a car dealership at Utah – and I'm giving a kid a car. You're gonna give. We're gonna give you a brand new pickup to drive all year long. You don't get the. You're gonna have to play every fucking game. We're not opting out of shit. If I give you that, I want you to represent my university in a bowl game, the biggest game we have all year. I understand. I mean, so it's a it's a screwed I, up. Deal. I agree with you. It's gotta it's gotta be something's gotta be done. Well, I don't know that it will be, but you heard this here first. He got chastised today. Nick Saban is gonna resign before he will not coach next year for Alabama. He's done. There he goes again. And it's gonna be it's gonna be based on all this shit right here. He's tired of it. He well, ain't going anywhere. He is too. No, he's not. I okay. wrote I read an article last week talking to his somebody read, read wrote an article about his assistants and they said he shows no interest in stepping down. So No. Okay. Whatever. When it happens, Jeff Stanfield said it first. That Adam, chair's tough to Adam, sit in, isn't there's it? Adam Schefter and there's Jeff Stanfield. Is that chair uncomfortable? No, my back hurts. Okay, well, Blake wallered that. Blake has out. wallered that son of a bitch <laughs> out. We got to get new chairs in here. He broke one last week. Well, I, that, he broke. That's the one Steve's sitting there. I think. I think I uh, sat in his chair yesterday on a goose hunt that he had wallered out. <laughs> because if you even went back <laughs> past ninety degrees, it fell on you. Oh, he's gonna go through. He better marry. He should have married an Amish girl. So much fucking furniture he's gonna go through in his lifetime. <laughs> okay, last week. We basically all tied. The guests went thirteen and five. I went thirteen and five. Andy went twelve and five. Hats off, Reese Collier. She done a really good job. She did do she a knew, good she job. She knew her sports too. I wonder how she ended up with her uh, bowl pick them. Uh, she might have won our deal. Happy won our lo- our deal local here. So happy had a pretty good deal. We do a pick them every bowl. We pick every game. You have to pay three dollars for every loss. Winner takes all. So if you win, you make some pretty good money. Yeah. I, need, I need to get some change from him. See how you. How much does he owe you? Two dollars. Well, I owe him. How much do you owe him? Sixty-three. Oh, 61? then why do you need change from him for? I gotta, I gotta give him a hundred. Oh, so you need thirty-seven <laughs> back. Yeah. Okay. He'll take one dollar bills. <laughs> he watches football less than anyone in, in this room. I think Lexi watched football more than Happy does, and she done pretty good too. But we were all a couple games off. I did the worst. Okay, here we go. First game: Minnesota at Detroit. Steve, that you pick first. Well, how many? Who's playing in this? Like, is Detroit yeah, I, playing their people? I, Detroit is going to play their starters because if something happens and Dallas got upset by Washington, what's not going to happen? Then Detroit would have this second pick. Well, I'll 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 pick Detroit. Give me Detroit. Yeah, I'm going to take Detroit too. Give me the meathead. Minnesota's coach. I hope that gets to keep his job. <coughs> sure, he yeah, will. he's a good coach. He will. He should. And I hope Robert Salia, the Jets, gets to keep his job he too. He's, they've already said he's coming back. I don't yeah. trust nobody. But to Monday, <laughs> Monday morning, there's going to be a bunch of guys losing jobs. Well, and and the guy Washington Redskins that to fire his ass. He's terrible. My my son-in-law told me the movie producer he tried to rent uh, the football stadium from the Jets owner. Mm-hmm. I think his last name's Johnson. Yeah, yeah Woody, Woody Johnson. Yeah. And he said, Anthony, we're going to be in the playoffs. You can't <laughs> rent it. You can't let it go. And he said about six weeks later, he, <laughs> he called him and said, you want to rent the stadium? He said, I had to do something else. Oh, no. You were, you were going to win uh, your division and have some playoff games. And he said, if we had movie, we had to, we had to rent something else. So. What movie are they making now? He's making a comedy out in L.A. I don't know anything about it. But they're renting the Jet Stadium for that? No, this was last year. Oh, okay, okay. Before football, and it may be part of this movie. I don't. I, I can't keep up with that stuff. He's just running it was, high. It was probably Steve. right after they called. Right after they signed Rogers. It probably. was. Yeah. It was. 
would have been interesting to see if he played how that would all worked out. Yeah. Guess well, we'll he's, never know. he's supposed to be back next year. Yeah, he's coming back. They'll be better. He's pissed everybody off at ESPN, and I love it. What did he say? He called Jimmy K. He said Jimmy Kimmel's going to oh, shit yeah, when that Epstein, Epstein list, list come out. He never said Jimmy Kimmel's on the list. He just knows all Jimmy Kimmel's buddies are on there. No. I think Jimmy Kimmel might be involved in that a little bit. He said, he, I thought he said Jimmy Kimmel is on it. No, he said Jimmy Kimmel's going to shit when that list comes out is more or less what he said. He never said Jimmy Kimmel's on the list. Then they asked J.J. Uh, Watt yesterday about it. He was on there, and J.J. Watt goes, ain't nobody suing my ass. He goes, I don't know who's on there. <laughs> Uh, the oh, way I, okay, yeah, he didn't. He said there's a lot of people, including Jimmy Kimmel, are really hoping that doesn't come out. Yeah, he didn't say Jimmy Never Kimmel. Never said he was there. No, he just said that he knows. Well, he there. said if he didn't shut up, he'd see him in court. Yeah. yeah. Dear asshole, for the record, I've not met, flown with, and visited or had any contact whatsoever with Epstein, nor will you find my name on any list, other than the clearly phony nonsense that soft brain wackos like yourself can't seem to distinguish from reality. Your reckless words have put my family in danger. Keep it up, and we will debate the facts further in court. You know what, Jimmy Kimmel? Fuck off. Oh, he's off. He's a prick. He's you know terrible. what? He puts all this shit on about all this woke bullshit. You ever watch the man show with him? It was funny. Yeah. All they did was rip on women and sexualize them and stuff. They used a 14-year-old fucking kid selling beer to him. They acted like on it. But you're going to act like you're better than that? Go fuck off. You and Howard Stern, kiss my fat ass. <laughs> I don't like either one of them cocksuckers. <laughs> They're, t they're guys that hide behind a mic because yep. if someone called them out and started whipping on their ass, they're the problem in this world. Sure. People need to have an ass whooping, and they both need one. Yep, but Jimmy sure Kimmel do. talks shit about everybody all the time, but then he wants to sue someone for doing him. Yep. Okay. And there's a lot of people on that list, too, and that's going to be interesting when we find out who is on there and who's not. They just said they released the second round of documents on the Epstein list. Really? Yeah. I bet Oprah's nervous. I bet her ass is on there. She's not one of my favorites. There's a woman out there that gives women advice on marriage and raising kids. She's never been married, never had a kid. Right. That's who I'm getting my advice from. Okay, Jacksonville at Tennessee. Got to be Tennessee. Mm, Jacksonville. Jacksonville's got way too much riding on it. They they, don't, they lose, they're out of the playoffs. If they're in their oh, division well, champs. I got them. I got to, I, I'll t I got them confused with Carolina. So they're, they're, Jacksonville, yeah, Carolina's terrible. Yeah. Next game, Tampa Bay at Carolina. Tampa Bay wins their div their champs in their division. I'll take Tampa Bay. Tampa Bay. Yeah, I'm gonna take Tampa Bay too. Baker Mayfield, comeback player of the year. We think. Yeah. No. Who you think? I don't know. I gotta go back to that list. It's not Demar Hamlin. Brees Hall. No. Okay. He's good. He's been very good. But there's, there's, it's got to be Baker Mayfield or, or Joe Flacco. I agree. And Baker Mayfield's had a great year. A great year. He's a free agent, too. He'll, he'll, be, prob he'll Tampa probably Bay's stupid him. if they don't sign they'll him sign back. They'll sign him in Tampa. Bay. They're crazy if they don't. New York Jets at New England. Is this going to be Bill Belichick's last game at New England? The swan song. He's going to the L.A. Chargers. You heard this here, folks, first. Uh, they said that Jim Harbaugh's going there. Well, he's uh, not. He's Bill not. Belichick is. Uh, you, who are you going to take, Andy, on. Who? What's what is it? The Jets at New England. Uh, I'm going to take. God dang, that's an ugly one. I'll take New England. Uh, yeah, I will too. I'm gonna take New England. I just Jets. I think Zach Wilson's done too. I don't think they're suiting him up. Oh, it said Demar Hamlin. How can Demar Hamlin be favored for? Because it would make player? he it, didn't even play. Because it would make Disney happy and it would make this all this big deal. I agree. He never played. He was not a factor. Comeback He's only played player. 17 snaps in five games. How can that be the comeback at all? Because of the how the fuck does Caitlyn Jenner win woman of the year? <laughs> I mean, fuck. Who? <laughs> Matt Stafford's 100 to 1. Baker Mayfield, 14 to 1. It's it, Baker Mayfield deserves it. Joe Flacco has done good, but he's only played in five games. Right. Hmm. It'll be interesting. Oh, I hope it's not DeMar. That, that's, that's, not, that's not good. Complete bullshit. That's the way the NFL woke bullshit. All right, the Rams at 49ers. Uh, no brainer, the 49ers. I'm going to take the Rams. I'm taking the Rams because I don't know. And that's my upset. Are they, are they benching anybody? I don't think they're playing anybody. The Niners are not? I don't think so. Number one's locked up. Yes. Right? Rams. Yeah, I'm taking the Rams. Steve's got his favorite town, San Francisco. San Francisco. We talked about that last night. Did you ever know that Steve chased down a man in a, tr in a wheelchair that had a Fuck Trump sticker on on his or yeah, flag. Yeah, chased him down, didn't you, Stephen? Yes, I did. You had enough. You got to stand for something, or you'll fall for anything. 
<laughs> Steve wouldn't even buy him alcohol. So Steve, so I'm in a liquor store. What were you doing in a liquor store in the seedy part of San Francisco by yourself at night anyway? No, Kathy and I were there with our middle grandson. That's where at a liquor were. store? We stopped at a liquor store to get a bottle of wine or something, and he was in there buying beer, and I said, oh, <laughs> you're in here buying beer, and you're sitting out with a fuck Trump sign? <laughs> Why don't you get a Why don't you get a clue? And, and he wasn't in his wheelchair. Oh. oh, so he was a scam artist. Oh. Sure he was. <laughs> Dick. Called him out though, didn't you? Sure, I did. Had but, enough of it. You should have bought him a beer. Yeah. Poured it on his head. <laughs> Baltimore at Pittsburgh. This oh. says Pittsburgh's a favorite. Favorite. How can you? Unless they don't play anybody. Maybe that's it. Their their coach is one of the best coaches consistency wise in the NFL. Seventeen straight years, no yeah. loss, lose, losing seasons. Right. So who are you taking? What's the line? It says four. I think Baltimore's locked in the first number one seed, regardless. Are. So there there's no reason to play. They're stupid. If they did not watch it happen to Miami down by twenty points and Nick Chubb throws an ACL out in it at the game when it didn't matter. Right. They'd be stupid to play anybody. They did sign Dalvin Cook today. Yeah, the Ravens did. Uh, that'd be my upset of the week. Pittsburgh over. No, uh, Pittsburgh favored. Yeah. Okay. Uh, I've got to go with Baltimore, even if they're not playing everybody. You can make that. They're uh, your upset, though. You got to pick an upset. I'm gonna pick the next one as my upset. The okay. give me the Steelers. I'm taking Pittsburgh also. Okay, Houston at Indy. Texans are favored by one point. This is my upset. The Colts are gonna win. Okay. I don't. Yeah. Is there any? If they if Houston wins, they win the division. If, no, no. Jacksonville, they'll get a wild card spot. Right. Excuse me. I'll take. Indianapolis. I'm taking Houston. I like to see Jay Stroud. Yeah, he's a good quarterback. I think he's the well. real deal. Next game, Cincinnati at Cleveland. Cleveland's already in as a wild card. Yes. Yeah. And have the Bengals got a shot? No. Okay. They're completely out. Seven-point favorite for the Bengals. I'll take the Bengals. Give me the Bengals. I'm going to take Cleveland. I don't know if Cleveland's even playing anybody this week. That's what makes this week so hard on the pick -em. Okay, New Orleans, Atlanta. This game's got some playoff implications. If New Orleans wins and Tampa Bay loses, I think New Orleans is in the playoffs. I'll take New Orleans because they're playing in, in New Orleans. New Orleans. I'm taking New Orleans. New Orleans. Okay, Green Bay at Chicago. Green Bay wins are in the playoffs. If, they're, if they lose in Seattle or somebody's in, so – Three points. Jordan Love has really played really good this year. Yes. I'll take the Packers. I'm going to take Packers. Cheeseheads. Denver at the Raiders. This has no playoff implications. I don't think Broncos so. Broncos are out and so are the Raiders. Yep. Uh, I'll take I'll take uh, Las Vegas. Give me the Broncos. I'm going to take Las Vegas, too, just because I'm not a big fan of Sean Payton. Did Russell Wilson, sorry. He sure did. Yeah, he's – Russell didn't help himself, but he didn't deserve that shit. No. What I'm surprised is is a lot of his players, if they like Russell Wilson – I don't know if Russell Wilson was real liked by his team, but I'm surprised his other teammates hadn't just quit on him too. Philly at New York Giants. Uh, it's not going in my order. I'm going to take the Giants. Well, hell. I'm going to take Philly. New York does not need to win this game. They're costing themselves a draft pick and a better quarterback. Who? Oh, the Giants? Yeah, I'm going to take Philly. Philly needs to win anyways. I don't think there's nothing riding on this game, basically. Philly. Can you, you think about it, the NFC. Dallas has not played good the last month. Philly hasn't played good the last month. Seattle's lost themselves out of the playoffs. There's really – other and 49ers have been the only team, and they had that one game against Baltimore, but otherwise they've played really good. Yep. I saw where Dak made all pro. He's, he's, had, a, he's had a hell of a year. He's, he and he deserved uh, it. Yep. the quarterback Purdy from San Francisco. Yeah. yeah. They had nine players, and Dallas had seven. Wow. Yeah. That's pretty good. Dallas's kicker and punter were both on there, I think. Yes, they were. 
Seattle at Arizona. Seattle. Arizona. That's my upset. I'm going to take Seattle. Kansas City at San Diego. Kansas City. That's my lock, Kansas City. Kansas City. No playoff implications here, are there? Nope. Not really. Oh. I hope San Diego wins, though. <laughs> I just like seeing – it's funny. The Chief fans, they got to get to know this. Dallas at Washington. I'll take Dallas. 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 Is that your lock, Steve? Yeah. All right. And the game – that's got all the implications on it for Sunday night. Miami at Buffalo. Or Buffalo's at Miami, right? Yep. Buff- Sunday Bill. night. Buffalo beat Miami. I think Buffalo does Buffalo, too. lock it in. Congratulations, Buffalo. Yeah, they get in. Miami's got too many hurt players now, and Buffalo is running the ball well. Now, before we get out of here, playoff time's getting here. We picked Super Bowl teams before the season started. I took Jacksonville at Dallas, and I picked Dallas to go to the Super Bowl. Really? Yep. I don't like Dallas, but, well, I, I, but I bet I think they've got a really good football Level team. Level-headed. Coaching-wise, I think McCarthy sucks as a coach. He should have ran the ball at the end of the game, and if he'd have done that, they wouldn't have been in that situation the other day. I understand. He's a, he's a bonehead when it comes to coaching. Right. they got a lot of talent. they got a great owner. But I can't pick Dallas to win the Super Bowl because my heart just won't let me do it. But I don't think they're going to be able to go to San Francisco in January when it's rainy and nasty and crappy. San Francisco runs the ball. Dallas can't. I'm taking San Francisco and Buffalo are my Super Bowl picks now. I'm taking San Francisco and uh, Baltimore. San Francisco, Baltimore. Times two. National champion. Huh. That hurts, don't it, Washington. Steve? Washington it is. I just I, I just made a bunch of I made a hundred couple hundred dollars there. Well just I right picked, there by you saying I, if, that. If I had bet on the ball games, yeah. I'd, have, I'd have missed both of them. I would have taken I took Texas to win it all and I would have taken Alabama. I would have too. Now, Texas got their ass whooped as a Longhorn fan. Sure and that kid for Washington. Oh, he's un- un- unbelievable. If I have the first pick in the draft, he's who I'm taking. That boy, he threw the ball unbelievable. He throws a great deep yeah. pass. Somebody is going to steal him in the 10 to 20 pick because they say he's not a top 10 pick. And I have no idea who the fuck thinks that. Well, you know, they run the same West Coast offense that everybody else does. Yeah. And he did not, nobody laid a hand on him. He flicked that ball out there and Sartesian. Thro- it just depends on who you got playing. He's got a good deep ball too. That's what's that's what's impressive about him. He's throw the ball so deep and so and well, so accurate. Yep. And it's everybody hates Michigan because all the cheating shit and stuff. I think Harbaugh's a great coach, I think a very so. very good coach, and I think he'll be the charge Chargers coach next year. We will see. All right, love you, Steve. Love Glad you, you come up and seen here. You've been coming up here now for what six years? <laughs> <laughs> been a long time. How long y'all been in business? 32 years, I believe, or 33. I can't remember. Well, I met y'all at a sporting goods show in Dallas, and you invited me <clears> and my brother to come up, and that's probably been 30, 30 years. years. Yeah, 30 years. You know what? I look back, old. I saw an old picture of you, and you actually back then had 87 hairs on your head. <laughs> now I got 17. 17. I counted them last <laughs> night. All right. Thank All you. Right, God guys. bless y'all. Y'all have a great week. All right. See you. Go check out our sponsors. Go look at Double T British Kennels, Mossberg, Stanfield Outfitters, Alpha Outdoor, Outdoor Specialties, Hemp Hill Farms, BHBs, the promo code there, Ducks Unlimited, Lucky Duck, Looking Glass Podcast, Shin Gear, Dirty Duck Coffee, Pacific Calls, BHP 25, Dive Bomb Industries, Boss Shot Sheldon, and MLR Graphics.